the state is situated entirely within the tropics with a population of over 2 million people. The conditional grant scheme is taking root here too. These women no longer patronize the traditional birth attendants. They now have access to trained medical personnel and medical supplies free of charge. Abosse Diadeyemi is 32 years old and pregnant with her fifth child. I have come to join other pregnant women to receive proper medical attention. They take good care of us here. They give us drugs and teach us how to be clean and about immunization. People of the community are showing up more and the health facility has been upgraded using funds from the conditional grant scheme. They are more aware now. We have already created awareness on the health of our people, of the people in the community. At least we can see that they are now utilizing this health facility more than before. Over 1.7 billion naira has been spent on providing medical equipment, drugs, and the renovation of 115 primary health care centers in a Kiti state. The traditional ruler is glad that his people can finally feel the presence of government. The governor of Ikiti State said a strong message is being sent out to the people. We have a statement to make, and the statement is simple. Primary health care is not the health care for the poor. It is health care that is available closer to everybody and should be used as such. The governor is happy that the CGS is working in the state and bringing people-focused projects to communities who need them most. Also, small businesses are being encouraged. Local contractors are used to handle the projects and the state is getting by, he said. We believe that part of the ideas of the MDG scheme will also be to encourage people who are small contractors to be able to do work. So we spread everything. We brought in as many people as possible. In fact, uh, there were very few people who applied for the MDG contracts that didn't get anything at all. We spread everything. But that has become a headache for us now because a lot of these contractors are not competent. A lot of them thought it would be just easy money. But if we take out that, I think by and large, uh, we are getting back. Ikiti State is endowed with a lot of surface water. Portable water is being channeled to remote areas and the target is to cover the whole state by improving water storage and pumps. We are grateful to God for endowing us with a lot of surface water. One of it is what I'm back in now. We have almost five of these in Ikiti State. People in remote areas assessing fetching water that is real people that matters. These people in the olden days would go almost two or three miles to fetch river water, which has health implications. Um, they have been quite ambitious in Ikiti, for instance, didn't just say they were going to go and do boreholes. In fact, I think hardly any happened there. But they have a water supply scheme for the whole state. That's extremely ambitious. Um, and so, and they drop these in every ward where you will find um, the, the, the taps and, and accessibility to it. I don't think anybody, nobody in Ikiti will not have access to water with this water supply scheme. Ikiti State's huge investment on the provision of water is paying off. The state now has over 1,000 water points, 261 kilometers of pipe network has been laid and seven new one million liter reservoirs have been built across the state. The people are happy, they are very expectant and they believe that for the first time, government is working in their interest. Similar successes are being recorded in other states in the southwestern part of Nigeria, but some states have peculiar challenges. Overall, the collaboration between the MDG's office and the states is bringing government closer to the people. Ekiti for us was really a success, A, in that we were able to do what we set out to do, but also um, to acknowledge that there were challenges to uh, six months later what was happening to that project and that we were able to respond. In a number of the other states, there are, have been some challenges. Edo State for, well, that's south-south, but um, certainly maybe I'll talk about uh, Ondo State, um, which has had some success with its projects. But with a change of political leadership, you will find that the um, then you have some constraints in terms of time lines and policies that are coming into place for that government. 
in the case of uh, Ogun State, they've had some challenges, and Ocean State some challenges in trying to do the project implementation. Again, it's probably symptomatic of a national issue with the civil service, the competencies to do that. But I think what has been really um, across the board, we have had the support of governors. Governors have really been committed and engaged with this. We appreciate the intervention. We also uh, want to uh, say that here in Ekiti State, the intervention has been a huge success. Through the Conditional Grant Scheme Initiative, Nigeria has reduced the problem of project abandonment, improved collaboration between the three tiers of government, and the people are getting more confident that their lives will keep getting better.